Derrick Rose is maybe the best player in America. If you look back 35 years and you could tell me I could have two guards in the history of this state, I take Isaiah Thomas, I take Derrick Rose. Derek Martell Rose, born October the 4th, 1988, learned the game of basketball from his three older brothers. In high school, Derek won two state championships and was rated by scouts as the top point guard in the country after his graduation. He played college ball at the University of Memphis and led the Tigers to the NCAA championship game in 2008. After one year at Memphis, Derrick declared for the 2008 NBA Draft and was selected by the Chicago Bulls with the number one overall pick. In his first year with the Bulls, Rose was voted Rookie of the Year and was selected to the All-Rookie Team. In his second season, Rose was selected as the NBA All-Star and was named as a starter for the U.S. team at the 2010 FIBA World Championships. In 2011, Derek received the MVP award, becoming the youngest player to ever win the award. He joined Michael Jordan as the only Bulls player to win the award. Derek grew up in Inglewood, Chicago's South Side. He witnessed people get shot at and drugs being dealt daily. Seeing what was occurring around him, Derek was driven to succeed. Derek lived with 10 to 11 people in a four bedroom house. At a young age, it was certain he had a natural gift for basketball as he dominated the competition. I really can't do too much around here or everybody I know or they'll try to tell my brother. So I was scared I was gonna get a beating or something. And we knew a lot of people. They led us a nice foundation where if he did anything, it would come back to me. Living in poverty and seeing his fellow neighbors in the same predicament, he wanted to do something to improve his situation. A lot was put on Derek's shoulders at a young age, and as he got older, it increased, but he never let it deter what he was working towards. Basketball was his outlet. Basketball was his savior. By the time Rose enrolled in Simeon Career Academy in 2003, he was a hot commodity for college coaches. Rose was not allowed on the varsity team due to a long-standing tradition that head coach Bob Hambrick had. He was the school's head coach since 1980. However, that rule did not lessen the play for Derrick Rose. He put up 18 points and six assists a game. He also added two steals. Rose led both the freshmen and sophomores to a city championship with a 24 and one record. The next year, Hamburg retired and Robert Smith was hired, opening the path to varsity for Rose. In his debut, Rose had 22 points, seven boards and five steals in a sold out game filled with college coaches and scouts. Derek led Simeon to a 30 and five record while averaging 19.8 points, five boards and eight assists a game. However, Simeon lost in the state regionals. Rose earned his first national award that year, third team All-American. During Derrick's junior year in 2006, the Wolverines won the Chicago Public League Championship. Rose scored 25 points and had some nice dunks as well. Simeon advanced through the playoffs and secured a spot in the Class AA State Championship against Rockwoods High School. In this game, a fourth quarter buzzer beater forced overtime. The score was tied at 29 late in overtime when Derek stole the ball and hit the game winning shot with two seconds left. Simeon won his first state title. The Wolverines finished the season with a 33 and four record and Rose was awarded an All-American mention, EA Sports All-American second team and another All-American selection. Entering his final year, Derek was ranked the fifth best prospect in the nation by Sports Illustrated in 2007. 
Simeon traveled to Madison Square Garden in New York to play Rice High School in Kimba Walker. However, the Wolverines lost 53-51. to The season's highlight was a nationally televised game on ESPN against Oak Hill Academy, matched up against junior guard Brandon Jennings. Rose had 28 points, 9 assists, 8 boards, and held Jennings to 0 points in the first three quarters. What's going on in your mind? Um, I'm happy that um, our team played different um, from the Rice game, and I made my impact early in the game, and I think it helped our team. How do you think you fared in your matchup point guard-wise against Brandon Jennings? Oh, he's he's real good. He has speed like me, but I think I'm a little bit stronger, but he's nice. Was there a statement made by you, by your teammates, about Illinois basketball here on national TV? Um, not really. Not really. Hey, congratulations. Great effort. Thanks so much. For his performance, USA Today named Rose their high school player of the week. Simeon went on to repeat as public league champs and defended their state title, defeating O'Fallon High School 77-54. In doing so, the Wolverines became the first Chicago public league school to win two straight championships. In his final school game, Rose only scored two points but pulled down seven rebounds and eight assists. Simeon ended the season 33-2, ranked number one in the nation by Sports Illustrated and sixth on USA Today Super 25. For his senior season, Derek averaged 25.2 points, 9.1 assists, 8.8 .8 rebounds, and 3.4 steals a game. Overall, Simeon's record with Rose was 120 to 12. After his senior year, Rose was again All-State after being named Mr. Illinois and was named to the McDonald's All-American team. He was awarded with first team honors by Parade Selection and USA Today, also USA Today first team All-American. Derek was selected to play in the Jordan brand All-Star game and Night Hoop Summit. In 2009, Rose was named the decade's third greatest high school point guard by ESPN Rise Magazine. Right behind Chris Paul and TJ Ford, his jersey number 25 is retired along with Ben Wilson. When Derrick was drafted by the Bulls in the NBA draft in 2008, many had high hopes for him. At first, Rose definitely lived up to those expectations. He became NBA Rookie of the Year in 2009 and the league's youngest most valuable player in 2011. However, a series of knee injuries have cut short or canceled many of Derek's seasons. The first season ending injury occurred in 2012 when Rose tore his ACL in his left knee. He had surgery to repair the tear, which required six to 12 months of recovery before athletes should return to play. Looking to sweep you guys. You wanted us, you were crying out that you bypassed the, the harder team in Miami. Oh, oh, Rose came down bad on his left foot. See him holding onto his knee, holding onto his knee and down. On December the 17th, in a 116-103 win over the Houston Rockets, Rose suffered a right ankle injury. Five days later, he underwent surgery on his right ankle and was ruled out for at least two months. February the 25th, 2022, Rose underwent another procedure to address a skin infection on his ankle and was ruled out indefinitely. In my opinion, Derrick Rose may be one of the biggest what ifs in basketball history. How many MVPs could Derrick have had? Could he have taken down LeBron? Would he have been the greatest point guard of all time? We'll never know, but Rose's story teaches us no matter what, we can persevere because after all those injuries, he is still in the league playing and making a living. And that, folks, is the story of the Rose that never blossomed.